Hello, BookTube. All right, many hours have passed since I made that last mail haul. I have more mail to show you, and it's only two packages, and we're not going to let this video expand to 30 minutes. <laughs> we're just not. <laughs> I used to make 15-minute videos. I used to make 12-minute videos. <laughs> so I have two packages here. One is a very thin, the other is very thick. Neither one of them is cardboard. They're both in middle envelopes perfectly well. They should be. Uh, and the first one has an Amazon insignia on it, so I don't quite know what that means. I haven't ordered anything from Amazon. Uh, so we'll see We'll see what this is, and that'll start. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, this... Is oh, let's see here. It's a 2018 release. It's by Nathan Knapp, Knapp, and it's Orphans of Liberty. That is a very arresting cover. This is probably a self-published thing. That maybe a self-published author has sent to me. Maybe they even asked me if they could, and I've completely forgotten. So I'm spacing out right now. Was so what have we got here? This is fairly well designed. Uh, Omar uh, is one of the best hunters in the counterterrorism bounty hunter program. He has tracked and taken down some of the nation's most dangerous and elusive targets. He believes he is fighting for his country, that the program is designed to protect us. Then his name appears on the list with a capital L. Now Omar must run for his life, hunted by high-tech, well-trained, and heavily armed hunter teams, with an entire country wired to track our every move, and every civilian is a possible hunter. He must use all of his skills to survive and fight to uncover the truth. Okay, so Omar Mohammed Issa. For uh, ex bounty hunter uh, for the program, armed and extremely dangerous. So this is uh, this is some sort of uh, futuristic thing, or is this set in the present day? I don't really know. I guess I'll find out. Uh, I guess I'll find out. I don't have a, a pub sheet, but I am I am uh, curious. This sort of thing, that sort of plot gimmick, where an institution that formerly supported someone turns on them. You've seen that. We've seen that in novels, you know, for 70 years since James Bond and since long before then. But uh, I like it. It's it's a neat, it's a neat, it's not original, of course, but it doesn't need to be. It's a neat seed ground for some, uh, it's a great way to get your main character to do some soul searching. Uh, great. Okay. I don't know why I got this. Probably I am dropping the ball memory-wise. Probably an, the author, uh, Nathan Knapp or Knapp, reached out to me. And, uh, and I said yes, because my answer is absolutely yes. If you want to send me a book, absolutely yes. The very least I will do is this. Hold it up on camera for lots and lots of people and tell you about it, tell you what the book tells me about it, uh, and maybe talk about it a little. So the author is an author, educator, and baseball fanatic. Uh, Orphans of Liberty is his debut novel. Fantastic. Okay, uh... And he's originally from Canada, and he currently lives in central Florida. <laughs> so he has migrated from the epicenter of global sanity to the epicenter of global insanity. <laughs> don't know if that'll fuel this fiction or not. Uh, but one way or another, I don't have an exact, I don't have a pub sheet, so I don't have an exact date, but it's 2018, so I better get to move on, because <laughs> 2018 is running out of steam. So that was the little package. Uh, great, a self-published action novel called Orphans of Liberty. Uh, and uh, then, this, then we'll do the next one, it's the, the last one here, so we won't go to 30 minutes. And this is huge, so it's got to be a finished copy of something. Glad it's not in a box. Boxes are so bulky. Oh, oh, fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, well, I don't have a pub sheet with this. But I don't really need it. I believe this comes out in December. Oh, golly. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, this is just beautiful. This is by Liverite, the folks at Liverite. And this is the annotated memoirs of Ulysses S. Grant. It's uh, edited and annotated by uh, Elizabeth Samet. And it is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Uh, I mean, beautifully done. Just beautifully done. Look at that. Oh, my. Uh, wow. Oh, how interesting. Oh, and also, uh, another thing that's a little bit different is that the annotations are on the bottom, where they should be. They're footnotes. This is 
this is just a heavily footnoted version of uh, instead of running along the sides. I hate that because when you have annotations running along the sides, even in a difficult book, you're going to have whole pages where the whole side is blank. Uh, this is fantastic. Well, great. Okay. Uh, well, and those and those of you who might be thinking, haven't I seen this before? <laughs> yes, you have seen this before. There's another annotated series ongoing at the same time as this one. Different publisher. And they just recently did the, the memoirs of Ulysses S. Grant. We saw it on this channel. This, I have to admit, to the eye, is a prettier volume. I, I, but that, you know, that's a necessarily superficial judgment. I will, I will, the test will be in how good the annotations are. And I've had the, <coughs> the advanced copy of this forever and haven't got to it. <laughs> so, because I was kind of waiting with, an, with a, a thing like this, which is going to be at least two thirds gift item for the holidays, uh, for the gift giving season at the end of the year, that's part of what you want to assess. And boy, I'm glad that I did because the visuals here are amazing. Just amazing. Um, I'm not one of those uh, readers who thinks that Grant's memoirs are the second coming of Jeebus. <laughs> I, I've, I've heard otherwise sober and rational literary critics refer to this thing as just one of the greatest books ever written, certainly one of the greatest books ever written by an American, uh, one of the greatest war memoirs. I don't see it, I confess. I will I will read this annotated version, big and generous, and maybe it will convince me. But every single every single military commander, if you if you commanded so much as three men on a ditch digging expedition, you wrote a memoir at the end of the war. Everybody wrote their memoirs at the end of the war. It wasn't just Grant. Everybody who survived wrote their memoirs with a few very notable exceptions. Uh, and I've read most of them. Most of them have not had anything like the reprint history that this thing has not in the Library of America. They don't have two dueling annotated editions. But most of the ones that I've read, especially by, uh, by Union generals, are better. Just more interesting. Even if they aren't Ulysses S. Grant, they are still, I think, more interesting. But I don't know. It could be. I have certainly heard this praise to the skies for a very long time. So I will, I will, as usual, go into this with an open mind and and see. I will. My first goal will be to assess the annotations and the critical apparatus. But I will also read the work and see if maybe there's a dimension that that this edition will help me to see. <laughs> we shall see. I will report back. Uh, so that that is the big thing. A new annotated edition of the Ulyss of the memoirs of Ulysses S. Grant, which he wrote against the the clock that waits for us all. He had he had uh, mouth and throat cancer from smoking because smoking causes the cancer. It doesn't cause cancer sometimes. It causes it all the time, every time. Uh, and he knew that he was dying, and he knew that he was his only the only you know real source of income for his family. So he took it upon himself to write his memoirs and worked hard at them every day to get them done. He finished them, they went through the presses, and sure enough, <laughs> they made they made a boatload of money. So uh, he served, he, he was faithful one last time uh, when it counted. And that, that's, a, that's a great story. I'll see, well, I'll see what the, uh, the editor does with that story. So we have the memoirs of Ulysses S. Grant, kind of opposite ends of the spectrum here. The memoirs of Ulysses S. Grant by Liverite, which is named after Horace Liverwright. I will someday tell you stories about Horace Liverwright, but uh, but it, it, it's, it's an ancient and, uh, and fantastic, huge press. And then Orphans of Liberty, a debut self-published novel. Uh, so there you go. We'll talk about a spectrum. <laughs> and, there, and that got us a, a mail haul done in well under 10 minutes. For those of you who said it couldn't be done. <laughs> so I will wrap this up now. <laughs> but I will see you soon. Thank you, BookTube.